Pierre Curie was a French physicist, a pioneer in crystallography, magnetism, piezoelectricity, and radioactivity. In 1903, he received the Nobel Prize in Physics with his wife, Marie Curie. Born in Paris on May 15, 1859, Pierre Curie was the son of Eugène Curie, a doctor of French Catholic origin from Alsace, and Sophie Claire Curie. He was educated by his father and in his early teens showed a strong aptitude for mathematics and geometry. By the age of 18, he earned his license, the equivalent of a U.S. master's degree, in physical sciences from the Faculty of Sciences at the Sorbonne, also known as the University of Paris. He did not proceed immediately to a doctorate due to lack of money. Instead, he worked as a laboratory instructor. When Pierre Curie was preparing for his Bachelor of Science degree, he worked in the laboratory of Jean Gustave Bourbeuse in the Faculty of Science. In 1895, he went on to receive his doctorate at the University of Paris, in France. The submission material for his doctorate consisted of his research over magnetism. After obtaining his doctorate, he became professor of physics and in 1900, he became professor in the Faculty of Sciences. In 1880, Pierre and his older brother Paul Jacques demonstrated that an electric potential was generated when crystals were compressed. To aid this work they invented the piezoelectric quartz electrometer. The following year they demonstrated the reverse effect, that crystals could be made to deform when subject to an electric field. Almost all digital electronic circuits now rely on this in the form of crystal oscillators. In subsequent work on magnetism Pierre Curie defined the Curie scale. This work also involved delicate equipment, balances, electrometers, etc. Pierre Curie was introduced to Maria Skłodowska by their friend, physicist Józef Wieroskowalski. Curie took her into his laboratory as his student. His admiration for her grew when he realized that she would not inhibit his research. He began to regard Skłodowska as his muse. She refused his initial pr proposal, but finally agreed to marry him on July 26, 1895. The Curies had a happy, affectionate marriage, and they were known for their devotion to each other. Before his famous doctoral studies on magnetism, he designed and perfected an extremely sensitive torsion balance for measuring magnetic coefficients. Variations on this equipment were commonly used by future workers in that area. Pierre Curie studied ferromagnetism, paramagnetism, and diamagnetism for his doctoral thesis, and discovered the effect of temperature on paramagnetism which is now known as Curie's Law. The material constant in Curie's Law is known as the Curie Constant. He also discovered that ferromagnetic substances exhibited a critical temperature transition, above which the substances lost their ferromagnetic behavior, this is now known as the Curie Temperature. The Curie Temperature is used to study plate tectonics, treat hypothermia, measure caffeine, and to understand extraterrestrial magnetic fields. The Curie is a unit of measurement used to describe the intensity of a sample of radioactive material and is named after Marie and Pierre Curie. Pierre Curie formulated what is now known as the Curie Dissymmetry Principle, a physical effect cannot have a dissymmetry absent from its sufficient cause. For example, a random mixture of sand in zero gravity has no dissymmetry. Introduce a gravitational field, and there is a dissymmetry because of the direction of the field. Then the sand grains can self-sort with the density increasing with depth. But this new arrangement, with a directional arrangement of sand grains, actually reflects the dissymmetry of the gravitational field that causes the separation. Curie worked with his wife in isolating polonium and radium. They were the first to use the term radioactivity, and were pioneers in its study. Their work, including Marie Curie's celebrated doctoral work, made use of a sensitive piezoelectric electrometer constructed by Pierre and his brother Jacques Curie. Pierre Curie's 1898 publication with his wife and M.G. Baymont for their discovery of radium and polonium was honored by a Citation for Chemical Breakthrough Award from the Division of History of Chemistry of the American Chemical Society presented to the ISPSI Paris Tech in 2015. In 1903, to honor the Curie's work, the Royal Society of London invited Pierre to present their research. Marie Curie was not permitted to give the lecture so Lord Kelvin sat beside her while Pierre spoke on their research. After this, Lord Kelvin held a luncheon for Pierre. While in London, Pierre and Marie were awarded the Davy Medal of the Royal Society of London. In the same year, Pierre and Marie Curie, as well as Henri Becquerel, were awarded a Nobel Prize in Physics for their research of radioactivity. Curie and one of his students, Albert Laborde, made the first discovery of nuclear energy by identifying the continuous emission of heat from radium particles. 
Curie also investigated the radiation emissions of radioactive substances, and through the use of magnetic fields was able to show that some of the emissions were positively charged, some were negative and some were neutral. These correspond to alpha, beta and gamma radiation. The Curie is a unit of radioactivity originally named in honor of Curie by the Radiology Congress in 1910, after his death. Subsequently, there has been some controversy over whether the naming was in honor of Pierre, Marie, or both. In the late 19th century, Pierre Curie was investigating the mysteries of ordinary magnetism when he became aware of the spiritualist experiments of other European scientists, such as Charles Richet and Camille Flammarion. Pierre Curie initially thought the systematic investigation into the paranormal could help with some unanswered questions about magnetism. Pierre and Marie Curie's daughter, Arène, and their son-in-law, Frédéric Julio Curie, were also physicists involved in the study of radioactivity and each received Nobel Prizes for their work as well. The Curie's other daughter, Eve, wrote a noted biography of her mother. She was the only member of the Curie family to not become a physicist. Eve married Henry Richardson Labus Jr., who received the Nobel Peace Prize on behalf of UNICEF in 1965. Pierre and Marie Curie's granddaughter, Ellen Langevin Joliot, is a professor of nuclear physics at the University of Paris, and their grandson, Pierre Joliot, who was named after Pierre Curie is a noted biochemist. Pierre Curie died in a street accident in Paris on April 19, 1906. Crossing the busy Rue Dauphine in the rain at the Quai de Condé, he slipped and fell under a heavy horse-drawn cart. He died instantly when one of the wheels ran over his head, fracturing his skull. Statements made by his father and lab assistant imply that Curie's characteristic absent-minded preoccupation with his thoughts contributed to his death. Both the Curies experienced radium burns, both accidentally and voluntarily and were exposed to extensive doses of radiation while conducting their research. They experienced radiation sickness and Marie Curie died of aplastic anemia in 1934. Even now, all their papers from the 1890s, even her cookbooks, are too dangerous to touch. Their laboratory books are kept in special lead boxes and people who want to see them have to wear protective clothing. Most of these items can be found at Bibliothèque Nationale de France. Had Pierre Curie not been killed as he was, it is likely that he would have eventually died of the effects of radiation, as did his wife, their daughter Ren, and her husband Frédéric Joliot. In April 1995, Pierre and Marie Curie were moved from their original resting place, a family cemetery, and enshrined in the crypt of the Panthéon in Paris.